Gathered together in the cramped basement of justice, the heroes of the Band Geek podcast record a movie review. Richie, the leader of the team, able to harmonize numerous guitars in a single bound. Anne-Marie, whose voice is so powerful it can be heard across the far reaches of the cosmos. Randy Metaxas, who can mix drinks stronger than any mortal man. With her sidekick, Andy. <laughs> These super friends stand united against the Earth's greatest evil, also known as Jarrett. No matter the challenge, wherever there may be pizza, the band geeks arise to entertain all mankind. Also, Jan, Zan and Jaina sometimes, who are the Wonder Twins. <laughs> <laughs> and their monkey. And Andy, he was the end frog. <laughs> he was the end frog. End, the, end frog. I was. <laughs> I, I did that on the way over here in the car, like saying it to myself, and then I realized there's a very thin line between that and it's Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Is that the same guy? <laughs> no, uh, the Super Friends announcer, the second season, uh, was Ted Knight. Really? Yeah, I forget uh, who the first season was, but it's Ted Knight. So, the meanwhile at the Hall of Justice, Aquaman and Super... That's Aquaman. all. Aquaman. <laughs> I love that. Wow. Aqualove. So, <laughs> do, do, do you want to host the rest of the episode, or do you want me to do it? You go ahead. Okay. Well, he should do it in the voice the whole time. Oh, no, I was saying meanwhile uh, <laughs> a lot during the movie. <laughs> meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, Wonder Woman and Cyborg race towards an empty street. Welcome to Band Geek. He punched me so many times. Oh, that's right. We'll, 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 we'll get to that in a second. But um, <laughs> I want to let you guys know what we're doing today. I know we're the music podcast, but it's band geek. So uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask us, hey, what would you think of Justice League? So instead of just you know type a two-sentence answer on Facebook, I'm going to squeeze an episode out of this. And also, everybody <laughs> knows that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. Yes, this, this, is, the, this is the movie I've been waiting since, for since I'm like five, uh, <laughs> pretty much. So um, that's what we're doing today. We're going to do a quick uh, little movie review, and we've done things like this in the past. Uh, no music, just, uh, just geeks today. No band. We're just geeks. <laughs> um, so if you like what we do and you want to support us, please use our uh, tip jar. That's richiecastellano.com slash tip jar, and that is uh, from our partner site, Streamlabs. So if you see Streamlabs when you go there, that's totally normal. It's supposed to happen, and uh, that's a PayPal form, so... We really appreciate those of you who have been tipping and helping us out. You help us do the show on a more regular basis. And um, if you use Amazon, especially now that it's holiday season, uh, please go to our Amazon link. That's at riotcast.com slash bandgeek. And there's an Amazon banner at the top of the page. And you use that before you do your shopping. And then a small percentage of your purchase goes to supporting our show, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So we really appreciate that. And all the people who have been contributing to the show, and as you've noticed, we've been doing it a lot more uh, consistently lately. Lately and, and trying to do crazier things. So that's all because of you guys. And thanks for the pizza we're going to have after the show. So, <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> so, okay, yes, this is the film I've been waiting for since I'm a little kid. I was always a DC Comics kid. Uh, you know, I like Marvel too, but DC is where my heart is. And, um, you know, we got a lot of great movies over the years. We got Christopher Reeve, Superman. Uh, we had uh, Michael Keaton and uh, Christian Bale as great Batman. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we've and, and Herschel Batman. <laughs> That's right. And throughout, you know, and Jarrett, you're in the same boat as me. Thank uh, you, Jim. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like, like, wow, this is amazing that we're getting a comic book movie, but they're never going to do the team up. And then Marvel showed everybody how to do the team up. And then DC said, that's nice, but we're not doing that. <laughs> and they did their own version <laughs> of the team up. Um, which, if you listen to our Batman v Superman review that we did a while back, I love that movie. Uh, I, I guess I'm in the minority. I'm the uh, 22% or 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, like that's me. Um, I had no problem with that. I, I really like the um, Killing Joke and Arkham and... Uh, and uh, uh, Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight Returns, thank you. Yeah. Um, all those you know, really gritty Batman comics, I'm really into that. So uh, to see that sort of... you know tone on the big screen was a real treat for me even though everybody's like this movie's too sad and grim i'm like batman's not a happy guy you know what i mean uh he doesn't say old chum anymore i'll but, also argue that that dc did it first actually shared universe oh yeah in uh batman forever was that the third after returns batman forever all the way to metropolis he yes that's that. it that's the thing he said the circus must be halfway to metropolis by now <laughs> that was lame but so 
you're establishing that you are very heavily invested in it. Yes. So it's very easy to crumble your dream. It, it was. And, and I had a, and, <laughs> and <laughs> expectation management is a big deal uh, with this one. And we're going to keep coming back to that expectation <laughs> management. But before. We should so, put that on the board. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bay Geek episode 100 and whatever. <laughs> Expectation, expectation management. management. Into the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel like talking. And a lot of people know that we usually go as a group because we're friends and these are our kinds of movies. But we were actually we're on separate close. coasts <laughs> yeah. for this. Coast to coast. Coast to coast. Well, um, ever since uh, Andy and Brandy moved to the city, um, they're too good to go to our crappy, uh, you know, <laughs> su- suburban you theaters. You guys are welcome to come to our theater. <laughs> That's true. You know our theater, oh, yes. Lincoln Square. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, the best... The theater that's bigger and than your house? Yeah. Yes. So the, It's bigger than everyone's house. It's, well, it's, it's, like, it's enormous. I, I mean, just the theater this. isn't even as big. Like the one theater with the IMAX screen. But it's, it's, the, actu- house and it's the actual uh, correct specs right. of the yeah. IMAX yes. screen. Like it's not those like small IMAX screens. I plan screens on seeing it there. Which this movie was like four by eight or something. I don't yeah. know. It was in a weird... Frame. Yeah, it didn't I'd like fill up the bar. See, I'd like yeah. to see this in IMAX. <laughs> well, the uh, the big IMAX isn't like wide. It's like no, I, yeah, no, like I know square. that it's, yeah, it's yeah. taller, not fatter. Yeah. So I saw it. Um, I actually had a gig, and we traveled to California the day early. And I, this is a funny story. Uh, I booked tickets, and now we landed uh, an hour away from the gig. At three forty, and the movie was at six. So after after you get baggage, check into the hotel. It was really cutting it close. So I got really nervous, and um, I actually called the theater, and I said, I, "I said, can I speak to the manager?" And you know, speaking, I said, um, "Hey, uh, I'm, I bought tickets to see Justice League on uh, on Thursday night, and I'm a little worried. I'm not going to make it. I'm from New York. We're traveling. We have two flights, and we're musicians. We're playing the next day." I said, "So if you could actually do me a favor and reserve." Four, like three or four seats for us, and I'll put you on the guest list for the show. So he, he so the guy was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, and and also like he like I was thinking like, hey, this is an opening night. You're not going to be able to do this. I thought he was going to like shut me down. But he was like, sure. Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> People are nice in California. Well, but that's not but that's not the only thing. So um, we get there and we're at the movie theater and I'm like, all right, it's five o'clock. Let's go. And the local uh, the driver from the casino we were playing was like, I'll take you. I was like, all right, we got to get going. He goes. Eh, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I'm like, yeah, but it's you know opening night. He's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we get there. Like we leave at like 5:30, and and it was me, my cousin Phil, and Eric Bloom uh, who went to go see this movie. And you know, I'm like, come on, gotta get there opening night because you know what opening night is like in New York. It's a line at the, the door. Mm-hmm. This was such a small town <laughs> that like the whole town was there, and the movie theater was only like three quarters of the way you full. Were, full. <laughs> you were you weren't in L. A. No. <laughs> The guy, the guy, the driver was like, "I don't think you have to worry about waiting in line." He's like, "I've lived here my whole life. Um, I don't think there's going to be, you know, a packed house tonight." So it was very funny. But we got there, and there was like no one in the theater, and it's like police tape, you know, caution tape on four seats, like the best seats in the house, and, and you know, reserved. And everybody's like looking at us like a bunch of jerks, like who are these guys? But um, it, it eventually filled up to about three quarters. It was a very nice theater, and I want to thank. Uh, Donnie Miner at the Fortuna Theater in Fortuna, California. You're the man. Thank you very much. So that's how I saw it. What about you guys? Um, we got seats in the same theater we always do <laughs> that were recliners. Um, and to fill the void of you not being there, Anne Marie punched me a lot, and I punched her a lot. I didn't really punch you a lot. I punched myself. You punched my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I just went like this, like. <laughs> I feel like this is a segue to, Richie, I'm sorry, I felt your wife's boob. <laughs> I don't know what I was punching. I was just excited at certain points. I can't be held accountable. Uh, there was a lot of squeeing. And Anne-Marie's going to come back to me in 20 years and tell me that I punched something. <laughs> <laughs> what about you guys saw it at the IMAX? Uh, yeah, and we got tickets like the week before. Yeah. I was like, oh, you, you were saying, you were like, oh, we should probably like get tickets and whatever. Well, no, you were... <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I, I, I have something to add yeah, to this. Yeah, let's get tickets. Yeah, sure. I have something to add to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna out you okay. for a second with That's a conversation fine. you and I had in confidence. Yes. Because um, I was just like, hey, man, you know, Justice League, and it's like, you know, I think I'm done with all this. That's what Andy said. He said, I think I don't care anymore about Star Wars or Justice League. I just don't feel like much of a geek. This is what he said to me. Like, like I know I'm on the show, Band Geek. I just don't feel like much of a geek anymore. 
And then this is right after serious we, conversation. Right after yeah. we right after we had that conversation, we did the spinal tap episode. And then Andy goes, Salvation! <laughs> I said, I said, dude, I know you might not think you're a geek, but you are a geek. If you know, if if you know every little you know, detail of, of how to do of nuance of David St. Hubbins. <laughs> You're a geek. I got news for you. So you really uh, embodied that role. You really did. I've been getting is the patron saint quality footwear. <laughs> Dude, I've been getting amazing feedback on that. Everybody's like, "Wow, Andy uh, just like went for it." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, you mean non nerdy Andy?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Well, you usually don't see that kind of. <laughs> that is the right word. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's get right into. Yeah, the so we here. so we went to so we got tickets like the week. Of, yeah, the week the before week the before. midnight showing was still empty, and that's because there was a seven p.m. showing like on Thursday <laughs> before it came out. What? Yes. yes. All right. We went on Thursday. No, the di- yes on Thursday you went. What time? Uh, ours was 8.30, eight. but there yeah. was right. a, so let's just no, call there was opening day Thursday then. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. There was a 6 p.m. It's not yeah. the midnight yeah. show yeah. anymore. No We're now going to start going to 3 p.m. Tuesday showing. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. For the okay. opening, opening night. night on Whatever. Friday. We went but to anyway, we went to the midnight showing anyway, just because right it's fun. That's no cool. one was dressed up. Yeah. Mm-mm. So, okay. Um, but the midnight showing, and we also went le- uh, yesterday, too. But the midnight showing, that's a different type of crowd that goes there. It's dedicated. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. people are enjoying themselves. They're laughing. They're clapping. They're, like, we went yesterday, and, like, these people were having, like, a conversation, like, behind us. It was, it was, it was weird. The midnight show was fun. Now, I've seen it twice. Have you seen it twice, Jarrett? Yes, sir. Okay, so we, we're, uh, we're pretty, uh, all right, let, let's, let's just get into it. Um, so, what'd you think? <laughs> um. You loved it. Shut up. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, uh, he punched me so many. I enjoyed. <laughs> no, just that's just so me react. That's just like like uh, oh. reactions. You for enjoyed excitement. it while it was happening, and then afterwards you, you felt, bad? felt bad. I was I was comp- I was. It's like you know I was processing everything. Like being with a prostitute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. Let's go there. <laughs> I uh, I was processing everything. You're prostituting everything. I was prostituting everything in my head, <laughs> and. Um, I I wish it was better. I wish it was longer. Yeah. And there's a cut of that movie somewhere that I'm that I want to see. Um and we'll get into like specific problems, but overall not my favorite DC movie and it should have been. Interesting. Uh Amory, go. I don't I, it's hard for me to have an opinion right now. Um because I only saw it once. I really liked Ooh, it. Ooh, get out of my... here one time. I'm sorry, I just work a lot. Right. Wow, me too. My bad. Okay. I'm sorry, do you work the weekends? Yes. Because everybody's working for the weekend here. <laughs> Everyone's done. Um, I'm about to cut both of so... you off. <laughs> Brandy's the... like... <laughs> like, all right, look, you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> no one cares what you think anymore. Um, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. I. It's funny, I didn't really think about it. I know, I don't want to say too much because this is... So it was something you said to me, Rich, that like the shift in tone, and it's something I didn't realize until you said it, and then I was thinking about it. I was like, oh yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Spoiler I feel alert like... to the rest of this episode, apparently. Oh, yeah, oh we yeah. didn't say that yet. Sorry. Spoilers, <laughs> spoilers, massive spoilers in this episode. If yeah, you have, don't if you watch haven't, a review. What's if you haven't, you? Uh, give us, give us uh, a two oh. over here. Okay. <laughs> two shot. Oh, okay. Lean in. Andy, look. Andy, lean in. Menacing. If you haven't seen the Justice League movie, don't watch this. Press pause. Go to your local theater, watch it, then come back and press play again. Continue. We'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make the Batman noise every time we switch cameras? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Um, Meanwhile, as you're seeing the movie. Oh, well, we can switch off. We'll tag team. Um, I, I liked it. I liked it. But, I mean, I really, it's it's hard to, for me to remember it. I saw it Thursday and I didn't see it again. I, I liked it, but that was my initial reaction. Don't be an apologist. It's, like, it's okay. No, but I, I wasn't, like, paying attention. I was just more freaking out that I got to see so many things. I agree. You know, mm-hmm. I was like the fact of the matter is okay. You might think the movie's not a great standalone movie, or whatever. But I got to see so many things that I never thought I'd see. Yeah, it's a good point. Next. So <laughs> next, Randy. Oh right, so this is gonna be awkward because the camera's not on me. Um, oh, <laughs> I I liked it. That's all. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Same here. Uh, we got tickets. I was like, oh, I want to see that movie, and then we went and saw it, and I was like, oh, that was a good movie. That was it. Really? Oh. 
Yeah. I mean, there's a list. Wow. Andy, Andy, quite contrary. How does your garden But I'm grow? saying I don't have that much invest into it. Yeah. So that's, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go see that movie. And I went to see it, and I was like, that was oh, a cool Oh, this movie. really famous, popular yeah. movie. Let's go that's see cool. it. Well, um, I mean, Richard. My heart didn't get broken. <laughs> that's the problem. You weren't... Right, uh, what be because you go. don't have You don't have a heart to be broken. <laughs> go, go, go for it. Your Let's turn. hear how the movie touched you badly. Okay, the first time Show I saw it... Show us where it touched you. After the first time I saw the movie, I was I had the same like Force Awakens after movie experience, which is like... Ooh. Conflicted. Uh, I have to watch that again to see if I liked it. <laughs> and I was like, it didn't... Because, it didn't, for example... Well, like, me, I, and, me and him texted you right afterwards because we watched it essentially <clears throat> the same time in different time zones. And yeah. we were like... <laughs> like, our text messages were essentially just... <laughs> and then you were like, meh. Because it's initial knee-jerk excitement. It's like, bah, Flash, bah, Green Lanterns, bah, it's Steppenwolf. Well, the, for, for example, <laughs> Steppenwolf, yeah. the, the difference is that um, I saw Thor Ragnarok, mm. and I liked that immediately after. I was like, I like this movie. It was great. You know what I mean? It was fun. Uh, I'm only going to watch that probably another couple times in my life, that movie. Right. You know what I mean? This movie, I'm going to probably watch a dozen times or so. And, uh, a dozen times yeah. or so? Right? <laughs> Not until, until we're Minimum. 80. <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Um, so... The uh, this was just like ah, uh, I don't know. Um, and then I saw it again, and I, and I liked it a lot better the second time. Like Why? If, so, if, so if I because what of ex- expectation management, because I was I was expecting it to be a certain thing uh, from just what the uh, previous movies had done. And then they gave me something that was not that at all. Well, um, to be fair, can I interject here? To be fair. You made it a point not to watch any of the new trailers, and I think that might have actually been to your detriment in your expectation management, because in the second trailer, it showed all of that. And you might want to watch the trailer for Last Jedi, because I feel like your expectations are going to be all wonky. No, no, I have zero expectations for that movie. I think it's going to be the worst movie I've ever okay. seen. Okay. Right. So, um, the, uh, for, like, okay, so I watched that first trailer that came out for Justice League, right? and the movie... Is so different than that trailer. Like all that stuff is gone. What I disagree with Anne Marie though because I watched all <clears throat> three, and remember, and then I texted you. I was like, "Don't watch the third Justice League trailer." You, was, you, was Superman in it? He wasn't in it. It well, it was the it was part of a scene in the field that wasn't in the movie, which yeah. is one of the notes I have, which is where's all the trailer stuff. But there was the whole sequence where. Aquaman is jumping through the air and hitting a parademon and then Cyborg's grabbing him in the air and then yeah. throwing him down and then they're going through the... That whole entire sequence was the whole trailer. Yeah. And right. so in my head, I was like, tell Richie not to watch this because that's going to be an amazing sequence to see on the screen. Oh, I've and seen it's that. Not gonna... That was in the first trailer. No, no, no. It was the whole, the whole... thing. Oh. Like that whole sequence. That's it was lame. like a minute and a half. <laughs> like that's that's why I never watched trailers. But there was a lot of stuff. Like there was... Not only were there stuff that... Great stuff from the trailers that didn't make it to the movies. The, a lot of the great stuff in the movie was like spoiled by the tra- even the one trailer I saw. Right. So that's why I'm sort of anti-trailer these days. The whole first trailer was was Flash and, and Bruce. That whole scene. Yeah. And that was a yeah. wonderful scene. Yeah. yeah. It would be nice to just experience that scene for the first time. Yes, I think. I think it would have been. You know what? The, the problem is they're doing trailers differently now because the trailers were originally to entice someone to go see the movie, mm-hmm. but now it's the like. Teaser. Now, now it's like coming soon. You from know, 20th century we Fox. know you're gonna go see the movie. <laughs> Here's a sneak peek of something. Yeah, you're right. right. You're right, and like, and and that's also like, they're making like multiple to see trailers. The trailer and be like, oh, I want to go see that movie now. Well, there's right. a the there's teaser. a teaser like, trailer, the then the trailer, then it's like the official trailer, and then like we'll just show you a whole scene. We don't even care. Anymore. Yeah, that's and then all the TV spots do it too, which is freaking crazy to me because like when did that happen? I remember like all the older movies, you would get like the one trailer that just played all the time, yeah. and then like maybe there was like a teaser that was like extra extra short. For like when you were watching it on VHS. So trailer is withstanding. I mean, we, that's that's a problem with all movies, not just this movie. Right, um, right. <clears throat> I just thought, I was like, guys, this is like the fifth. Was it the fifth one yep. in the series? Mm-hmm. You you don't have this down by you don't have you, like you, we're still like ramming in character like like origins and stuff, and and we're still like I'm like guys like. Why don't you have this down yet? Right. That's that's what I was thinking. Well, like, you had why three this... new characters with origins. Well, but here... still, like, why why is this still so okay, weird? Okay, so what, what was what was the, what was weird? Let's. T- you just made a okay. statement. Give me an example. <laughs> Wait. Can I make tea? Wait. Get it. Go ahead. Get yelled at. Thank Go ahead. Brandy, get a shot of Andy and Richie. I got it. Okay. 
See how they he has a phone and Andy has his iPad. Now get a shot of me. We all took copious notes <laughs> the second time we saw Amber's got a glass. Because we're always unprepared. Go ahead, Richard. All right. Well, <laughs> should I do my problems first? Or let's do my problems first so we can we end on the stuff. We all have the same list. Explain yeah. what you just said. With the, like, what, why? Is, okay. First Still of problems. all. This is the fifth. Yeah, it's the fifth one. Installed. Right. Like, For those that are confused, it's Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, and now Justice League. Okay. So the, after seeing this movie, I feel that they should stop and this should just be the Superman saga trilogy. Man of Steel, Superman vs. Batman, Justice League. I think what happened... And then go from there. Because it seems like no one wants to be in these movies anymore. <laughs> I think what happened... Affleck... No, I'm just saying. Isn't Affleck out now? Yes, but he's done being Batman. Said it. He doesn't want to be Batman anymore. There's like rumors so back and scratch. forth. and Do something else. I think what happened, though, was that they did Man of Steel. And I don't think initially Man of Steel was meant to be the catalyst for a new universe. Right. It was like, we just did a dark Christopher Nolan, you know, serious, gritty Batman. Yeah. We're gonna Now we're going to reboot Superman. Yeah, serious... And then it was just like, we should probably do a shared universe. Yeah. So they put little pieces, like, the you know, like little signs and shit in the background. But, like, then when they did that, I that's why I think it was such a weird jumping off point and why, why we're still in such a mess. But go ahead. Uh, how about this? I'll go through my list. Let's see if we all have the same list. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. That's Number part. one. Okay. Solo it's scenes. It's like bingo. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got it. Got need it. Oh, got my God. It. This is it. The solo scenes are too short and kind of confusing on how they relate to the plot. So solo like, scenes? So, like, okay, we see Batman um, catching a criminal just to lure out a parademon. That's, right. like, that, how the, the movie opens. Right. And it's, like, I, first time watching it, I was, like, what – what is he doing? Like what? And then I need your fear. And, and and it's like okay, but it's just like it went by so fast. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I get it. It's just they don't want this to be a long movie. I love that scene. Oh, I love <laughs> that's it. in the positives. I just wanted more. I like that scene. Felt like an old Batman scene, but it still looked like new Batman. That was like that was. See, like, I disagree with that. That was like a. They look, that a was roof, a Michael, rooftop stuff looked weird to me. That was a Michael Keaton scene. Yeah, yeah for absolutely. Sure. Except, except the Batman character looked like new Batman. He still moved like he did. Affleck Batman and Danny Elfman quoted himself. Yes. in that scene, which we, was awesome. He did it a lot. Did yeah. you see Batman's reflection in the glass? I love yes. that. Yeah, okay. I saw it. Second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. It. I mean, that was like. I thought that's on my positive list. Actually, I thought they shot Batman beautifully, and the way he moved was great. That's on his list. Yeah. On, my list. Yeah. <laughs> on my list, I feel like they finally figured out how Batman moves. It was very a, gothic and real, noir, and like really real, cool. Yeah, in a realistic way with the cape, but also in an artistic way. Yeah, with beautiful the cape. and graceful. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's on my positive list. Yeah, but it didn't um, irk you that the like the criminal like jumped into frame, still tied up after that. What oh, like at, oh like at the end, like, end to make his Because he was comment. all tied up. He was like, hey, no, wait, what's wait, going is on? Is that the criminal or is that somebody else? No, no that was the criminal. criminal. And now he's, he's just up. having dialogue and with Batman. Like, yeah. Like we're having a, yeah, yeah. I wonder what was that all yeah. about. Yeah, what was uh, that all about? Well, I'll tell you something that's going to come back later mm-hmm. that I liked about that scene. Like when the criminal talked to Batman and asked him a question, Batman just like didn't answer. It was silent and walked away. Yeah. I would like. I would have liked more of that in this movie. Being silent and walking away. Yes. No Flash solo scene. They shot it and didn't put it in the movie. Uh, what? the the with him saving the woman getting hit by the car. You know who that is what Iris. Oh, really? They said it's supposed to be Iris, I but think, it wasn't in the movie. I, I don't no. think any of, the, any of that was needed. I think I think I think his introduction was fine. Um, I think actually all the introductions but, were fine. But no, okay. How about this? Wonder Woman's introduction, like with the the terrorists in the in the school or something like that. Right. Uh, the, it was like a museum or something. Whatever. They, oh, no, they, no, uh, yeah. It was she was bank. like, she put bank. the lasso of truth on them, and yeah. and 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 they, or was it the main guy who was like, yeah. oh, uh, all these aliens are your fault or something, and we're gonna blow. I'm like, they tried to like relate that like random scene to the parademons, right? With like w- with a one line zinger. I missed oh. that. I missed that. Yeah, yeah, but that that's the point. It's no, like, but that makes sense. I was trying to understand what that guy was saying for two viewings. Yeah, and I didn't ever know. So that that was my problem, and also, um, like the. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that, but um, only one mention of Dark Side, and it was, and it's like it was just in his speech, and it sounded like side? it was the Dark Side, not Dark Side. No, what? he said Dark Side. Oh, for no, dark he side. said Dark Side. Yeah. Wait, who? What? See, exactly. 
Exactly. No, See, but what is this? Okay, Dark Side <laughs> is the you know how Marvel has Thanos. Okay. Dark Side is that for DC pretty okay. much. Um, he 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 rules Planet Apocalypse, which there also wasn't really a mention of. They never mentioned it by name. They yeah. talked about. But once again, wait, here we world. go. We're falling into the trap again, <laughs> where you are talking about stuff that connects the story, but I don't know that stuff, and the story was still complete for me. But <coughs> but they. <coughs> So they did mention Dark Side. They, Amory's bringing you one. All I have is whiskey. They did, but <clears throat> like Wonder Woman's giving a backstory on Steppenwolf and about mm-hmm. the mother boxes. Camera two. You could have just Sorry. even just said he's from a home world called Apocalypse. Yeah. Like could have just said like just said it. It just it worries me that they're not gonna set that up. That they're that like okay, that's it. That's the end of our uh, new gods uh, mm-hmm. apocalypse story. Right. He and thought, that's it. Yeah, Steppenwolf mentioned the new gods and he oh. said for Dark Side, but which but, that, I actually but that's like. what I'm saying. I'm saying the story is complete for me. But here's the problem. Steppenwolf is not the good bad like not the greatest bad guy from Apocalypse. Okay. It's Dark Side. That's the one. So it seems like they're gonna get there, but th- there's no like in- like it, it just Wait, leaves it, me very uneasy. Like the are they getting there or but, not? Well here's the question. Yeah. How do why would anybody know about Dark Side? Because they mentioned him. More than once. They mentioned him in Batman versus Superman, and they mentioned him right. now. I still have I no idea know. who he is, but I recall hearing but also, like, his name. He spelled and, it. And I'm going to get to this. I'll, actually, I'll skip this right now. The In Batman v Superman, the dream sequence, he sees the big Omega symbol, right. which is Dark Side symbol, right? And, and then we <laughs> see Parademons for the first time, and you're like, holy shit. That was the other problem. I felt that the dream sequences, which is the things I didn't really like about Batman vs. Superman, didn't really have any effect on this movie whatsoever. Mm. Nope. Uh, which we thought, like, oh, this is going to be some, like, crazy payoff. Uh, that's why these, like, whack-ass scenes were, like, inserted into Batman vs. Superman. And also, Flash time traveling, Lois is the key. Right. Is that, like, like okay, if that, if you're going to interpret that to mean, like, well, that's how Batman knew to get Lois to calm, like, you know, rage Superman down, like, you know, put, put something in there, like, the Flash, it's like, how'd you know that was going to work? And he can be like, you told me. Right. And like, okay, ta-da, thank you very much. You know, like that would have been easy to do. And also, the end with of Batman vs. Superman with the with the soil lifting off the casket yeah. had no bearing on anything. Nope. It's like, so what, like I didn't, it actually made me like Batman v. Superman less because now I know all those scenes are just a waste of time in that movie. Right. I think, and, and something we should mention too for people that are watching that want to see the movie but don't know the history, but not, I'm not saying the history of DC Comics, but just in general... Zack Snyder directed Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. Mm-hmm. He was there. He's right. DC and Warner Brothers yeah. guy. Yeah. He filmed uh, Justice League. Um, and was it last Christmas or something like I think it was last year, winter sometime last year. Unfortunately, he had a family, tra- family, had a family tragedy. tragedy. And uh, he had to step away from the project. So they brought in Joss Whedon, who... Did he originally co-wrote it, co-write it with Chris Terrio, or was that late? Or no, they, they gave him a him co-writing credit because they couldn't he came give him in. a directing credit because oh, of the guild. Yeah, so they so they brought Joss Whedon in from Avengers, Avengers and television everything and, and everything you know Joss Whedon from. And from what I understand, Joss Whedon even said that he cut about close to an hour off of Zack Snyder's like footage and didn't they also reshoot like and they reshot most a of the third bunch of stuff or something which is one of my my complaints later but they so, rewrote the whole thing right but so what we're saying so when we're talking about the fact that like this didn't seem to jive with this it may not be intentional it may have been just you know another director comes in when you write a song and you're like okay here's all the music here's all the guitar parts and here's everything and then somebody decides to change an instrument from a guitar to a clarinet you're like that's not. It's the same song, but it sounds different, and it, it's the arrangement. No, different. I, uh, the, what, what I relate it to is if I write a song and I have a bridge that makes verse three make sense, and they chop the bridge out. Right. That's what it seemed like to me. Like, well, but I talk about I set up verse three in the bridge, right. but you, but you didn't like the bridge because it's not good for that's radio exactly airplay. Exactly what happened with BBS. <clears throat> right. That's what we're talking about. Well, so, I, I wasn't confused by any, <laughs> but so any of the to, stuff you are Just for background. In, just, in BBS or Justice League? All of yeah, well, ta- speak, speaking of, just of for editing, screen. I, I thought the Atlantis scene was way too short, and it relied heavily on us connecting the dots. It didn't make sense. It yeah. didn't make sense, and he's like, I'm going to need something. Was it the armor and the pitchfork? Was it, was it the, the trident? Was, I think it was the trident. But, like, first of all, you have this great character in there, um, uh, Mira... Mira, and uh, who's like doing all this crazy like underwater magic yeah, stuff? Yeah, like what is this weird like clapping <clears throat> hands crap? She yeah, like that was awesome, and then it's, it's over, and they never go back there. And she well, was like, for the, 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 the so 
Solo movie. They're setting it up. They're but, planting seeds. But they didn't even see. They were just like, oh, look, he's come back. What a jerk. You don't like me, anything. Give me 30 more seconds of that no, scene. No, I'm with you. That's all I want. Give me like, like, flesh it out. Like, stop. Like, I get it. People can connect You're the right, dots. But it, I, I mean, but uh, what, they might have been a lot more shot. And right. it might have been cut. Because it was short. How yeah, many except, times? Yeah, it was really short. I mean, too short. Uh, it was, it was too short. Way too short. Um, and, and, and then the stuff they did add, for example, like there was a plot point with Martha losing her house, which, I, which, which was only there to set up the joke at the end to say, I bought the bank. Well, you that's know what I mean? funny. Yeah, but no, but it was, it was you know, it, that was just, that was a emotional element but added it, to it. At that the end, that, that's, that's the downfall of all these movies. The Superman emotional aspect mm. is, is like the pitfall of all these movies. All but of them. It didn't do anything for the plot. At but least at, Lois didn't suck so hard this time. I but at the disagree. end of Batman, I think she sucked just she sucks as much. Always. At the end of Batman vs. Superman in the extended cut, uh, the ultimate edition, they're like, oh, uh, I have to go pay the, the pastor for the funeral. And it's like, already taken care of. By who? An anonymous donor. Why wouldn't Bruce just buy her house? Or why wouldn't Clark go turn coal into diamonds and when he dies, leave him in his mother's <laughs> basement? This should take care of all your bills for the rest of your life. Why wouldn't he just buy Kansas? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the band and the state. <laughs> so that was... You, sorry, it didn't bother you, but that was a little weird for me. It didn't bother me. Um, okay. The tonal shift. Wait, I, can I, I, before you go yeah. into this, let me just... Just the fact that that bothers you, that there wasn't enough of something, mm-hmm. means it was a good movie. Mm-mm. What? Standards for movies, especially movies like this, nerds will sit for three hours. Yes, we know Two this. hours and 40 yeah, minutes. This. this felt short, and because everything was rushed, it felt even shorter. Uh, it I, didn't feel short Here's to one me. of my complaints. It, didn't feel, it felt fine to me. It felt short to me, and it felt like they were running through a checklist of complaints right. to deal with. They were like, yes. saying like, like, okay, hey, look, we did this. Okay, look, uh, this guy made a joke. Ha, look, this guy's smiling. Hey, well, that's, look, the same, you know, that's the same feeling I had with Force Awakens. Yeah, because They're you running through the podcast checklist of things. complaining about all the movies. <laughs> they have to do it. It's your fault. Well, <laughs> why are you distancing yourself from this? No, that's not true, because we actually enjoyed Batman vs. Man of Man of Steel. I thought, <laughs> I thought, and I was in a minority, I thought that Batman v Superman nailed it. I was like, that's what it is. And also, if, and and see, here's the problem with Batman v Superman. Is people, little... people don't want to believe that if Superman showed up in 2017, mm-hmm. right, or 2016, whatever, that they would treat him the way the public treated him in that movie. That's bull. Like, they would, t- that's totally how Superman would be treated. Right. And that... <clears throat> that almost needed to happen. He needed to die for everybody to go, oh, I guess he was a good guy. We were a bunch of jerks. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so that that's, and, and I like that. And I, I wouldn't, I, I was just wondering, I saw a lot of tweets about this. I wonder what the um, the original Justice League script looked like before all the meddling. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? Like, because it was, you can tell that this movie from the trailers and how, from things being different from the trailers mm-hmm. and from the pace of it and, and how tightly everything was cut, that this was like Rogue one you know what I mean? Like, like they had a movie, and then someone came in and was like, "No, like, like chop, 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 chop," and they took like the hatchet to it right. and took massive sections out and inserted stupid crap, in my opinion, right. just to like, just to make, wow. just to check off boxes. That was my problem with it. But what boxes do you think that they wait. had to check that you weren't? And what okay did they with? take out? <clears throat> I just derailed this whole podcast with that question. I know, but <laughs> is this is this where you were going? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the okay, for example, like. Uh, on the second, I felt it really. I, I felt it a lot the first view, viewing. On the second viewing, I paid attention. I said, "Where does this happen?" Because I was watching the movie, and I was just like, "Okay, it's pretty good. I'm missing some things. Things are a little too short." And I know that's one of the check boxes. Everybody's like, "Why are these movies three hours long?" You know, they're just so you know down in the dumps for three hours, and they were moving at a pretty good pace. Where it starts to fall off the rails for me is the first joke that Batman cracks which I actually thought it was a funny joke but I, at the same time I was like that should have not been the movie which when joke when he's that? laying on the ground after Superman kicks the crap out of him and he's going something's definitely bleeding yeah, right? I'm right. like that guy would that character would never ever say that that's nonsense it's I know but I like the joke I laughed no, both I, times but Christian Bale made the stupid joke oh that's what that feels like yeah, it's, but, that was no, but that wasn't a joke. That was him talking to himself. And that was, that was him talking to himself. Yeah, that's fine. It's exactly the same. But that for me, <laughs> that insane. started the whole shift in the movie. Like after that joke is when the movie starts to like get derailed. For me, yeah, but actually after that point, like 
the whole thing was jokes in the beginning. It was a lot funnier, it, like especially in the beginning, than I thought ba- it was going to Barry be. Barry was the joke. Right. Was, well, was all right. the jokes. Here's, here's the thing that I, yeah, that's the but thing. But Barry's that I supposed wrote, to be was that it seemed like they didn't really change the humor on the established characters of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Like they they seemed like Bruce themselves. Was. Before that Bruce point, was. they seemed like themselves. They added. Aquaman being a, uh, a comic relief, and they also added <clears throat> Flash being comic relief. But th- Batman you expect actually Flash to be though. Exactly. Right. Aquaman was a bit of a weird. Except, except his personality. The the best thing I liked about Aquaman is that his look matched his personality and the way he. Yeah, talked. he was like a bro. He nothing, was, I, nothing I, ever yeah. sounded weird I'm coming out of bro. his voice. He I actually, can't. honestly, he made that character make a bit of sense to me because yeah. I was always like Aquaman. I was like. Why are you so pissy? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Why are you so stupid? You're wearing this ugly outfit. Like, what's wrong with you? And then in comes <laughs> Jason Momoa, like, like Adonis of the sea. And, and then he turned out and he is the first son. And he's got all the tattoos. And it was cool because like they, they made him like yeah, like a biker bro. <laughs> But it somehow made that character make so much great. sense to it me. Perfect. But, but it was funny. Like he wasn't playing it like he wasn't playing it like Flash, like funny no, jokes. No. It was just he was funny. He's just the dude, my man, but, my man. man. <laughs> but Bruce actually made jokes with Aquaman in his first scene with him that actually were stuff that Bat like. Those are jokes that Batman would say. Yeah. It was just like, he could. He, so he talks this fish, guy, right? You know, he goes, maybe you could just point me to Atlantis and he fucking grabbed him. Like, yeah. that's, that's a crack that Batman would actually Bat, make. Yeah, Batman's a jerk. Like, he yeah, would no, say, I like, like little him. jerky things. But they were like, when when the jokes start coming, like, you can almost tell, like, okay, um, and this is all that Zach did. So now we're going to bring in no, Joss from the bench. Can we can we hold on that Aquaman scene for a second, too? <laughs> I mean, the other, thi- the other thing is that Batman's personality is going to have to change. Because he was a loner this whole time, and now he has now he was fighting against Superman. Now he has this team, so he has. I feel like, and he's getting older. I think they softened so him up too a, much. I don't think he was soft. No, but they softened they softened his personality too much. No, I'm, the, but what I'm saying is because that's the whole thing is that he keeps on. He he's complaining about his arm. He's complaining to uh, Alfred about everything. Like he's getting to be an old man that's just complaining about everything. So he can crack a joke now that's saying, "Oh, something's not right." Like old man humor. He's, yeah, all right, I'll allow I'll, it. Okay. I'll allow and, it. And it's like you know we're used to the idea of Batman much. going the other way when he's older, like shutting down, getting pissy and exactly. quiet. And, and he's yeah. and now he's part of a team. He's everything. So it's like, what, what would happen him? if Batman Still, embraced it? The only. I, and, I half agree with what Andy said, and the only rationalization, as I told uh, uh, our friend Adam when I saw it with him the second time, the only rationalization I'll give to that is that Batman was in such a dark place. You know, like in in Batman vs Superman, it was like, there's a new kind of mean in him, you know, and I think after the death of Superman, he realized that he had been doing things completely wrong and needed to shift. However, I agree with you that it was a little too much in the, the fairly obvious scenes that were added for that checklist. Well, if we're going to go to, if we're going to rationalize it, and, and here's another possible rationale, it's that in the comics, the Justice League needs Batman because he's a tactical genius. Right. right? He's the only guy that can lead them efficiently. Superman can't really do it. Wonder, Wonder Woman can't really yeah, do it because they they're, really they're, the they're just, they're just warriors. But you they know what did, I mean? He's a, they did do that thing. They kept on saying like, well, what's your thing? What, yeah. what, what, what do you do? I'm he's rich. like, I'm rich. Right, no, but that, but I'm the rich. thing is, like, they, uh, they also didn't, they, they almost did it where, like, he's putting together the team, right. but really, like, so maybe he's being nice because he needs them. He needs the team. And it's and, the very beginning. It's yeah. not Justice League yet, so he has to put on airs. He has to be a little more Bruce Wayne than Batman right yeah. now and charm the pants off these people. And it almost feels like he might be wanting Wonder Woman to take over. Right. That the gear But that, that that was that was weird like to me because it's like Wonder Woman is not the leader of the Justice League. Batman is. It's like he's, but he's the, the villain boss. in this movie was a Wonder Woman specific villain. No, she wasn't. No no, no, no. But I mean, like it had to do with didn't have to do with. Like, all right, maybe not specific well, to her. It wasn't like Apollo. But I mean, you know. Thank you, Segway Sam, because you just oh, brought me to my next thing. <laughs> <laughs> that I loved that scene uh, with the uh, ancient battle, but the first time he came to the mm-hmm. planet, yeah, like, yeah, that was awesome. Unfortunately, it was Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it was yeah. verbatim. No, we sat the, next to each other. I was like, I, everybody, I feel it in the air. And, everybody. And and the what? next, the next box was given to, to the, the dead. To the, and to <laughs> the <laughs> one was given no, to the dwarf lord. Dwarf lord. Nobody, nobody, nobody where it so. fell into. It was like, oh, gone. You're and even talking like her. Nobody was given saw this to movie the race and thought of that. Man. Nobody. Nobody. Not and one they're the guys who messed up. That's a little Lord of the Ringsy. No, that was that was literally anyone alive in the nineties, two thousands. No. 
We're all millennials now. Verbatim. It was a verbatim. The it thing. Was, I was like, I watched that King movie. Blanchett's voice. It was confusing to me. I, I didn't understand. I have watched that movie so <laughs> I said, many damn times. I saw the movie. I'm like, Amory's really mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever she is, she's no, mad. No, I was actually happy because I was like, <laughs> this is a language I understand. Mm. But I was like, this is. And how do you not? But know that you scene that was off? kick ass. But, it was kick ass. but I'm like, it was the like, second time. You really like. You couldn't change it a little bit to Just be less. But also the the Steppenwolf, um, like face, like, well, he, had, like his, he, he looked like every... Azog. He, he looked, he, which was a dumb thing that they added to the Hobbit. Like his CG was not great. It was he, it was pretty terrible. He also looked like uh, Saruman or what was Sauron. Sauron. You know he has. Well, he looked horns. a little bit I mean, like Sarah 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 Bond. Sarah Bond is a dance in three. Um, now uh, I'll also bring up the, that if we're going, talking about the way he looks. Um, is there like a Thanos thing here that they're like trying to like, oh, this is totally not that, but it's similar. He but looks a not, little bit like him. The first no, well, time that's I supposed to it, be Dark Side is, is the Thanos of this. The first yeah, time but... I saw this movie, it was like, uh, we're not the Avengers. We're not the Avengers. This is close, but we're still not the Avengers. And then by the end, like, it's like, okay, yo, the Avengers. This is not the Avengers. Yeah, well, because they had a million of those like crane shot, like those expanded shots where it's like, this one throws this one to that one. He jumps off his foot on over here. And it's like, oh, God. No, it's not that. <laughs> the, well, that's the, the thing. They, they, like, this, they like consciously like made sure they didn't do anything like that. It seemed. But they did everything they needed to be to be close enough to right. the Avengers. The whole last part of the movie was Age, Age of, of Ultron. Ultron. It was exactly <laughs> Age of Ultron. The whole ending of the movie. I forgot that whole movie. So yeah, I hate that movie. Which is like, why would I you copy that one. movie? <laughs> copy a better movie than Age of Ultron. I think they might have done it a little better than Age of Ultron, but it was not original, so points taken off. Why, you didn't like the one family that lived in Russia? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Oh the God, only you, family that lived I in that town. I was like, that. why do we care so much about these people? <laughs> they spent more time on him than Aquaman. They yeah. did. On, on Yuri. <laughs> they, uh, Is that his name even? It kid. might as well be. People are complaining about Steppenwolf, but I actually thought it was like, he didn't come here and he was like, I want to take over the planet. I want to take over humanity. He was just like, I want to go home. Yeah. I thought he was like, I want to make the planet the same way they did in no, Superman, the first one with the earth it. changing no, machine. I missed, it. I missed that the first time. The second time, he's been exiled because he oh, failed that, the yeah. first time on Earth. And the mother box called him out of exile after the Kryptonian left. Right. But that, which is sort of a convoluted story, but sure. okay, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, but they kept bringing up uh, the fact that, oh, the Kryptonian, the Kryptonian, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. That's why this is happening. Right, because he was the, he was the Earth's, like, you know, best defense to stop. Well, no. also, not for nothing, Invasion. the only people who, who, the only person in that group who could go toe-to-toe with Steppenwolf was Wonder Woman, which is probably why they made her such a focal point there. But I mean, like... Wasn't there, wasn't there like, the, in that big battle, wasn't it like the friggin' Amazons? No, it was everybody. It was the Amazons, the Atlanteans, and, and the tribes like of men. It seemed like they had a very and large And the gods. The tribes of men. And the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern. Lantern. Yeah. That was cool. Wasn't the Green Lantern in one of those logos in the Justice League poster? Yeah. yeah. Unite the Seven, and that didn't happen. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, I brought that up so to somebody the other day, too. And I said, I said, this seemed like it was... Weirdly, like not planned since the first. Like hey, that's how I felt watching the movie. Like yeah. th- th- this felt like this movie was really shaped in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, like they were like, uh, no, not doing that, not doing that, not doing that. like cut, 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 cut. You know, let's get it out. And but, especially like I think this movie, I think all the Marvel movies, to be honest, suffer from this curse. The middle battle or battles mm-hmm. are way better than the end battles. Yep. You know, Wonder Woman had uh, Veld, the battle of when she walks across No Man's yeah, Land. Yeah, we've talked about that. That was unbelievable. And then the last uh, Ares battle was kind of like eh. uh, like a big eh. CG battle. Okay, no, it was, it was much more <laughs> impressive what the reveal that yeah. he was... Uh, but, oh, yeah, Ares. But yeah. Batman v Superman, like the, 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 the Clark versus Bruce battle, and then the uh, Batman taking down the guys in the warehouse, right. much better than the... Uh, Doomsday. The Doomsday. And... and, and it, you know, um, Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, like the the. I think it's just how it is. But like, wh- why can't they fix that? Like, and even in Lord of the Rings, like I think Helm's Deep was a better battle than the end battle. Oh yeah, I always started just to. I think it's just how it is. The middle battle is better than the end battle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's They're a tired weird thing by though. The end. They can't <laughs> they, 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 the, think about how a war goes. <laughs> yeah, you're all at the end. You're like, ah. that, that always <laughs> makes me feel like anticlimactic. But uh, the, I mean, no, because it is anticlimactic. But your climax should be somewhere around like the three quarter mark, the two thirds three quarter mark. The other problem was the end of the battle in Justice League was so stupid. It's like, oh, he's scared. Okay, the power team's gonna take him away now. Right. Yeah. Like, uh, I think yeah, that, was, that was my yeah. problem. I'm like, all right, so they're fighting this guy, and the only way to get rid of him was to get the power demons to kill him. 
Like, basically. Like, well, isn't that when Superman showed up? No, yes. they chopped his axe in half. Yeah. Well, and, 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 and then he got Here's scared. Why. This is what made me mad. Is we, because... got, we got cold breath out of that. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> that was kind of cool. <laughs> they, they, they chopped the axe, and then with that same swipe, Wonder Woman could have stabbed him upward <laughs> with that same sword, but instead she stepped back, and they're like, what's that smell? Oh, it must be fear. Uh, Someone get him some deal. That was that was a weird ending. Yeah, my axe. It was unnerving. <laughs> and there was a setup in there that I'm glad they didn't pay people... off. There was a setup in that very scene that I'm glad they didn't pay off. And he was like, "Who are you?" What like he uh, Steppenwolf was like, well, "What kind of you know people could stop me?" And it was just, I was just waiting for somebody to go, we're the Justice League. Like, I, oh. they didn't, and I'm so glad they didn't. But I, I was like, please don't do it. Please, for the love of God, please don't pay for the Justice League. It would have been great. They made way. a little quip about justice at the end, though. Yeah. 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 They Superman. Superman. Justice. Superman. Right. But it was... Exactly. And justice. And like, they could have done Swing. it in... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> they could have done it in Wonder Woman, too. It would be like, that woman's a wonder. Like, uh, hey. The, um... <laughs> so... There was actually, I thought, a missed opportunity there. I mean, I liked Danny Elfman's little quotes that he put in. Oh, but, little, yeah. but I'm like, you know what? You're Warner Brothers. Like, when we hear the like, like when they're all like, you know, getting their butt kicked by Steppenwolf, we should have heard bump 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 like, You're such nerds, all of you. And well, then, no, it went down. It went... <laughs> it did. Now, I'm not even joking. It did. No, so, it yeah, did. That's we all know. know. We all heard it. So, no, but, it, like, it did, like, a weird, like, minor but, change. But, the, oh, that, the, yeah, real quick. <laughs> There was no big. There was no Justice League theme that was big enough. That was that's problem. That's problematic because Justice I knew League. I'm sorry, Justice League. Wow, wow, wow. Why did he turn Mexican? That was definitely. Oh, because they had to get rid of his Mexican mustache. <laughs> <laughs> That no, was, the, I mean the Justice League cartoon uh, theme feel, song is the greatest thing I've I ever heard. I feel like in my life. that might have been one of those things where they were like, "We're not the Avengers. We're not the Avengers. We're not doing the Avengers thing." Where the there the big shot with the big music that never came. Yeah, but you know what? It's a it, it's Warner Brothers. You're supposed to have that. I know. I know. That's the problem. They should. You're supposed they, to have that, and not for nothing. Like, like they I, they were trying to not be the Avengers so much that they just forgot. The how to music make a movie. was boring. It was boring. Although it was good, it was good. Like it, was, it, it served the scene, but it was I boring. There was no themes. The Flash music sounded like the TV Flash music. It did. Was it was very fluty, right? When, when, when he when he's was, running around to to to. Po- uh, to to poke her sword. To per- poke, poke her, her sword. sword. Uh, <laughs> it was like... <laughs> boop, 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 boop. It sounded Poked like the TV show. Boop, 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 boop. It, but it was very fluid. I'm trying, to, li- I'm very... trying to listen to Andy go... You can come with us and hear that all the time. Well, okay. um, I thought he Which did a good cool. job of keeping it light. Because my my problem with some of the Hans Zimmer stuff is it's all drenched in this like like weird pad that makes the whole movie feel like a dream sequence. Like this... <laughs> we're just gonna. <laughs> I like how we're gonna just spend the rest of the episode just imitating music. Or like <laughs> when we're all <laughs> clearly. No, not. all right. What the I dark, did like the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is the worst one. It's like. <laughs> no, there is like 15 minutes of that note. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, the violence. <laughs> just one note. No, that's fine. Why are we doing this? <laughs> My tea kettle doesn't even sound like that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Anyway, well, so. all right. Did you hear the Lex Luthor theme be mildly quoted before he yes. popped up? I dug that because I, I, I thought that was a, one of the better pieces of music in any of the recent movies. I'll tell you, he did he did the Hans Zimmer thing once in the movie, and it was to maximum effect. I thought it's when they show up back to the Kryptonian ship in the middle of the movie. All of a sudden, you hear the all the pads. I'm like. That's where it's needed. Because it sounds not, aliens. Not, yeah, not when they're in Smallville. Right. Not when they're at the Daily Planet. Not right. when they're in the Batcave. <laughs> not during the dream sequence. Not when Perry White's eating a sandwich. It's like it's like every every scene has like this, like throughout that whole movie, and it makes it it slows it down. You know, I didn't realize until I just said it out loud. It's because he's an alien. They're trying to make it sound like space. 
He's trying to make it sound like space because they're playing on the fact that he's an alien yeah, so but they hard. But when they went to the spaceship when Tony Elfman <laughs> yeah. did it, it exactly. made sense. I mean, it was good. No, but I mean, the Daily they, they did, yeah, they so definitely much. did it too much in 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 um, yes. So goes, just to, just to move move it on uh, here. Um, okay, so we're still uh, in the problem section, right? Are we? Yeah. Are we? <laughs> are we just all accepting that Barry Allen is now pretty much Wally West? Is that like what's going on? Because Barry mm-hmm. Allen traditionally isn't the jokester, really. Right. It's well, I, he was socially awkward. I, he wasn't jokey, but he was more socially awkward. Yeah, I think I think dog. I think it was it was not it was joking out of like yeah like being he was uncomfortable. He was uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Kind I did, of thing. I did appreciate having and young. A, that's the other you know. I, I did appreciate having an everyman in there, sort of like he was he was like if if you were in the Justice League, like how you'd react to it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, and that was. That grounded this movie and gave it like a point of view. Yeah, like now. he was freaking out and yeah. everything. Well, he was and, the Spider Man of this and movie. And his armor too was also cool. That yep. like it was all tied together. Because how else are you gonna? All right, you they, have spoop- you've slipped yeah. all your good things uh-huh. in the bad list. I've noticed. There were there were. I'm I'm balancing out. You know. there, there were three cringe moments for me. Three. Go. Go. All right, go. Three that like inexcusable cringe moments. First of all, there's the moment where they get knocked off and Superman goes. Uh, I take it back. I wish I were dead. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, and then, uh, Cyber's like, I can't feel my toes. How's that possible? And the woman's looking like, I am working with children. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, don't give her a joke. She can't tell jokes. I'm sorry. What did she sound like? Oh, I, we are working with children. <laughs> what did she sound like? Ah, ah, ah. Dracula. Yes, yes, exactly. Blah. She's from Blah. Transylvania. <laughs> so, it, it, just like in her in her accent, <laughs> the delivery was ta- like, this is not a comedic actress. Like, do not I, give her jokes. I thought that was good. I would, no, because when she does it, it's charming. It's yeah. not funny. Everything it's charming. She does is the charming. worst thing true. in the movie, the worst thing, and I saw it. I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a meme. Oh, why'd you do that? Is when like Superman shows up and they pan over to Batman. It was like hanging up. It was like, wait, what? I didn't even what? notice. They it. pan over to Batman after Superman shows up at the last battle. And Batman oh like, yes, and yes. And he goes. Yes, I did see I'm like, that. Batman did doesn't that. make that face ever under any circumstances. Even How his could parents make that face. I didn't even notice. That. No, I saw that. I, and I was like, oh no, I that's gonna be a meme. That's gonna be a meme. Effect. I saw it the second time. That you made. Wait, so that's two. What's the third one? The the, uh, the, the Wonder Woman making the joke oh, okay, after the, okay. uh, the oh, like that's one scene. It gets to be one quiz. I wish I was no, no, I wish I was dead too. So yeah, it was just like yeah, the, that, it made no sense. He was he was coming to like grips with reality that he was brought back to yeah. life, and then all of a sudden he's like, nah, uh, <laughs> this is so funny to me now. So yeah, he's not. A- he had a little bit of like. Uh, the whole like when Ray got really good at the force thing, he was like, "I'm gonna kill everyone." Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? I was like, "Um, um, that was um, a little too quick." Well, a- when absolutely. He, when he was gonna kill everyone, Batman couldn't have said. By the way, Superman's safe word is Martha. Martha. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> All I <is> say. <laughs> In case he starts Martha. freaking out. <laughs> That's amazing. Superman's safe word, safe is, word Martha. is Martha. Oh God, I'm putting that up on I, Facebook. Write that down somewhere. Oh God. I, I wrote. I wrote this. I wrote this down here, and, and here's how I wrote it in my list. Can help him out with that. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I wrote it. Superman going back to normal just seemed too long and too short. It's like At the same it, time. it was just clumsy. It was like you know. First of all, that scene with like bonker Superman was amazing. That was great. That yeah. has my favorite moment of the film in it. What? They're all fighting each other. Up to that point, we've seen Flash run around, this you know, and everybody's frozen. Yeah. And then he turns, <coughs> and he's moving as fast as he is. And you're like, oh, my God, it's like you see him. And he's, and he's pissed. Yeah. He never, yeah. he never, that was the thing. Flash never realized that anyone could be as fast oh, as him. So, so Flash was terrified. Was Superman was going to, like, I will murder. It's great. The yeah. eye acting from everyone yeah. in that movie was amazing. Even, even like, Ben Affleck did yeah. some excellent eye acting. Oh, there was some good eye movements. Oh, yeah. But, but oh, then, like, after that, part. he's like, he, so he sees, he sees Lois, which was great. Uh, I loved it up to there. Let's go. And then they're like, then they had like Anakin and Padme on the boo. <laughs> well, because Lois Lane is the downfall of these movies. She's, she's freaking the terrible. She's terrible. Her I don't part think so. is terrible. And she's she's so, not a Lois Lane. You're saying that if 
Superman dies, Lois Lane's gonna like. Well, I can't really like write. <laughs> I can't really like work. I'm not. I'm not really into working. I'm just gonna talk about their love wait. story is the worst love story. Pulitzer Prize winning Lois Lane isn't the investigative reporting is gonna investigative just investigative journalism. But wait, so that's <laughs> what I mean. She's playing the part all friggin' wrong. I think she's wrong. She's wrong. I thought they, she was great in, in Man of Steel. Oh, you're, God, you're wrong. The, the whole Done. story. Okay, we all of, want to be Terry Hatcher. I'm sorry. The whole story <laughs> no. of Lois Lane Crap. is that. Being, she is a soup. She is more powerful as a human than Superman is. Yes. That's the whole. I mean, point. she's supposed to be. Yeah, but she's not. That's all she is. Is sad. That's beautiful. Thank you. Really nice. it, it comes out every now. Says the non geek. Shun the non geek. <laughs> I don't understand Batman's plan though. They kept setting up. I have a big gun. If it doesn't work, I have a big gun. Right. If was- Superman went bonkers and started beating the shit and destroying everything. How was he guaranteed that as soon as he saw Lois, he wouldn't just break her in half? I bet you in the trunk is the kryptonite spear. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. he's like, yeah. here's Lois, and, and Alfred's like, hey. <laughs> You know what would have been better? It would have been cool if you saw it, like, glowing from the back, <laughs> you know, and then she comes out of the cab, and you just see, like, the little spear glowing. <laughs> right. I, I just see Alfred do this. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> you know what would have been better? I like Alfred. I yeah, he's great. I like Jeremy. Do you know what I thought would have been better as the, as the backup plan, or as the big gun? He's like, I have a bat, you know, I have a big gun. I have a backup plan in case it doesn't work. And they're struggling with the Justice League, and he's like, Alfred, I need the big gun. And all of a sudden, a huge crack of lightning <laughs> comes in, and you hear Shazam! <laughs> yeah. And then, fucking Captain Marvel swoops in, and oh, that's yeah. how they introduce that character. That could have been cool. That would have been Andy's face if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. And then there would have been seven of them, like the yes. first no, poster. This is, what this is what happens whenever we're like, uh, what were we just watching? Uh, it wasn't this movie. It was okay. something else. I was like, if we read comic books, uh, what they're all, what they're talking about is probably really, really cool. That's like what Jim Florentine says about Big Bang Theory. I don't watch Big Bang Theory, but I'm sure if you're a nerd, that shows a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> That's the funniest thing he said. But, um, well, that used to be Flash and Arrow. Every yeah. time, and it was—it's so funny, especially not knowing what's coming when you know something super important. By the way, they're like, eh, eh, eh but they do it silently. Mm. So I have one more thing on my list. We actually got through all of it. Um, the, one more thing is, I would have liked to have seen uh, Nightwing. Like, sure. I would have liked to have seen like ba- just one scene. It could even be a phone call. And it'd be, it'd be like, you know, he's flying the plane. He'd be like, Dick, um, I might not come back. If I don't come back, you know what you have to do. You know, your Gotham's yours. And that's it. Just to, do just you to think acknowledge. Nightwing exists yet in this universe? They're working on a film, aren't they? Yeah, I, I no, would just I'm like. I'm saying in this universe right now, do you think Nightwing exists? Oh, for sure. Because, because in Batman vs. Superman, when Bruce is walking through the cave, he sees the Robin suit that. Right. Um, Jason Todd. That says, yeah, uh, you know, jokes on you, ha, ha, ha. And they, they confirm that that was Jason Todd. So. So Dick, Dick has to exist. Yeah, Dick Grayson's before Jason Todd. So there was that. And also, I thought it would have been not... I was really expecting, like, you know, um, Hal Jordan or... Um, I was expecting Ab- somebody Ab- to, show. to show up at the end and, and kick ass with them, like, in that last scene. Like, I was really expecting that. The, the, that's a Green Lantern. Um, but yeah. that's why I thought, like, the introduction of Shazam or something... Like, something like that. Like, I, I have the big gun because he's been researching metas. Yeah. Maybe there's one we haven't seen yet. Right. Isn't, isn't Hal I Dr- thought they were going to spring a meta on us. I, I like, I, I feel like that would have made more isn't Hal? Isn't Hal Jordan the uh, music publisher? Yes, that's Hal Leonard. Oh, Hal Leonard. Yeah. Yeah. Hal Leonard, the Green Lantern. <laughs> you just pulled the Danny Miranda. <laughs> Danny Miranda just texted you, by the way. He did. <laughs> he did because I... I gotta read that. No, because, not... because when he wasn't looking, I changed his name and his phone to um, C-Word Sandwich. <laughs> Are you so... I don't want to... I just saw came up here. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> sorry, sorry. So those are my gripes, but mm. I did like the movie, and we already talked about how um, Batman is gorgeously shot. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on. Do we have any more? Do you have any more negatives that he didn't cover? So we could just get the negativity out of the yeah. way. Um, when I, I had a couple, when Superman um, came back to life and shot through the roof of the ship, his pants stayed on like the Wolfman. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and the Hulk, and the Hulk, but and not and the, the shoes. The shoes, <laughs> shoes not but his shoes. shoes came up. Like, um, that's very Hulk. The uh, jokes for the sake of I could actually I could actually run through. Oh, also wait, while while Mm. Superman came back, did anyone notice that he came back with a English accent? Oh, he had yeah, his accent kept going in and out, right? It was very English accent. Yeah, it kept. You won't let me live. (laughs) (laughs) You won't let me die. I can. (laughs) That was a Crystalia accent. Oh my God, we're gonna gonna, that's gonna be put over the 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 film by Jared next time. (laughs) You will die. (laughs) Girls, please. He's great. 
you always is. Wait, I can actually run through this list because yeah, most right, of them are negatives, so there's a few positives in here. Great. Um, Lord of the Rings, um, the so, fake root, this like the CG Daily Planet and the fake rooftops, they really bothered me. I, I, I never noticed I didn't even CG. Notice that. Uh, real quick with the uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings, there was another Lord of the Rings thing, totally when uh, Aquaman's uh, surf air surfing on that parademon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's that Legolas. Slide Legolas. Come he down. Did the Legolas. Every, everyone in the theater was like Legolas. He jumps off and poses. Yeah, he's the <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah. He's surfing on the elephant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, he's a treasure. I love him. The Aquaman intro when Bruce was talking to them, it was in front of like the fishing village council. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like there was definitely stuff missing from that, like the introduction there. Um, that was confusing. This Nordic- Fish culture. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, no uh, and they're all like inside jokes and crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, Why I are think, we talking I think, to the fish no, people? No, I, th- I think that was just like the 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 local inn. But he was sitting like on a chair in the middle of the room, well, like on a stage. That's the mayor, you know. Um, I wrote jokes for the sake for uh, jokes for the sake of jokes. I agree with that. Mustache yeah. in big capital letters, and my my sub. My <laughs> I didn't sub- notice the mustache. I, didn't, I tried I, to look for it. Oh man! No, mustache. because you know why? I didn't read anything about that. Oh yeah, yeah, and because I, I was avoiding what everything. What mustache? And and oh, they CG'd his mustache Henry out. Henry Cavill. Who's Henry, Henry Cavill, Cavill. Superman had a mustache because he was filming a new movie and they needed him for reshoots and they wouldn't let him, let him shave his mustache. But apparently it's a very dramatic mustache, right? I didn't see the actual it's, mustache. It's a huge mustache, so his so upper lip is weirdly the, CG. Supposedly the final third of the movie, right, is just CG mustache. That first opening scene when they were videoing. Yeah, that's, that's what that's that's we said. Like, that was is the only that time a CG looked, mustache? We, I didn't uh, it notice. didn't bother me at all. I didn't okay. notice it. I didn't know about it. But I said they could have spent all the money they took removing Superman's mustache and gave everybody else in the movie a mustache <laughs> <laughs> and Commissioner Gordon gets two yeah. <laughs> uh, seemed too easy to bring back Superman despite the fact that they did like the back to the future like you yeah. have to touch the box yeah. right. when it, it hits was, 88 it miles great. per hour and hits the water I like that he exploded afterwards that was That's fun, fun. Uh, where was all the trailer stuff yep um, then excited Green Lanterns meanwhile um, a big round table uh, the oh sport. yeah, that was cool. Yeah, a little like nod to the the hall of justice. This is his justice. negatives. Uh, no, turned his head. I liked the weird. What do you flowers, mean turned his head? Weird what? flowers happily ever after kind oh, of. Oh yeah, fern thing. gully. Yeah, it turned into oh, fern gully. Like, what? Fern gully. Wait, I, I'm not under. You're rattling through this, and I'm not yeah. understanding what damn word you're turned saying. Turned his head. What is, what is turned his head? Who turned his head? When Superman turned his head. Oh when? yeah. No, no. During the, uh, the first altercation, when the when the Flash was trying to flank him. Oh, when the fl- when he yeah. goes. Yeah. yeah, that's that, oh, again. Okay. These are, right. these, this is kind of mixed up. Yeah, but how do you know that that's exactly what he was talking about? How is that negative? I know. We discussed that already. Why are you saying it again? I, I'm, I'm just yes, rattling. Read it silently I'm if you've already discussed it. Go on. The um, I bought the bank. I didn't like. We talked about that already. Yes, I liked that. I liked it. Um, the weird you voiceover know, ending. The, ones we talked already. <laughs> the weird voiceover ending that Lois did. Like, oh yeah, mankind. And, and, and I it just, hate it just Lois trailed Lane. Off. I yeah. hate, her. It's fine. hate it's fine. Lois Lane. She's the worst. I even She's forgot about that. I don't even remember. Oh, I, just I like I like it. I was so mad. <laughs> I like Lois. I have no we problem saw with her. it. Yeah. Um, and it just seemed it the the cobbled together stuff, the Joss Whedon stuff. Just I I could really pick it out. I find like that's I too could, nitpicking. I I didn't feel <clears> that I will not allow I could, half those. I didn't feel like I could pick out that there was a change in anything. It it didn't seem that jumbled to me. There were and scenes was where Lois's hair was a completely different color. I, uh, okay. Yeah. I don't care. I I I now I know we spend a lot of time ragging on this. But I, I, don't know, I and I want to drive this home. I actually really like this movie, especially the second viewing. I thought that um, Ray Fisher, Ezra Miller, and Jason Momoa did freaking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So they were fantastic. so likable. I didn't think likable. I was going to like Ezra Miller at all, but I Me really too. liked what he brought to that character. Um, you know, Who's I, that? I, Flash. Flash. Okay. And, and I really appreciate the cinematography of this movie. Like not only just the beautiful Batman scenes, but the camera being up Gal Gadot's ass, like for like three <laughs> okay, shots. You had to see that shit in IMAX. Oh, I gotta it go was see ridiculous. that. Ridiculous. Like you could live there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to like, make a home here. Clock. You get in there, throw, take, a, take a Snickers wrapper, <laughs> you write, Larry was here. <laughs> so I want to make sure I tell her you said that when we meet her. In that's December. right. Uh, I always um, want to meet her now. Um, I, caught, I caught something. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I, I caught it the first time was in IMAX. <laughs> I didn't catch it the second time on a regular screen. So you might have to go to the giant IMAX. <laughs> When they're uh, walking into the uh, cave of uh, Themyscira to the yeah. box cave that's of opening, wonders, whatever. there's all these there's all these women standing there with with the like the, the yeah. big hammers that we find yep. out, mm-hmm. and there's one that for a split second you see her go like this, you <laughs> <laughs> she totally laughs, totally, she totally like that, smiles. 
She to- but, she's just whatever. standing there. She's, extra. Yeah, she's supposed to be like this. And she's totally standing there. And all of a sudden, she smiles. And then she... Laughs, but you wouldn't have like, noticed maybe it. Maybe she's super excited that hilarious. they're there. No, how everyone long? was freaking out that, that, <laughs> that the box was waking, was waking up. up. How long do you think they were standing there with their hours trained on that box? <laughs> a very long time. <laughs> I, I don't know. The sum of it doesn't make any sense. I think like a good like three days. What, what is that arrow going to do to that damn box? Nothing. Uh, yeah, that was a little silly. Um, I like but I did like the, the Themyscira stuff. I like that we got another Themyscira yeah, scene. You know yeah. what? I didn't really need it. I felt like I it was it. pointless, and it, it, it especially because I watch Wonder Woman as often well, as I can to see that. Uh, well, they brought back my favorite Amazon, Anelope. <laughs> then why do you wear their coolers? <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Can you can you do? I'm working with children in that voice. <laughs> no. <laughs> you almost tried. Oh, you said there was I'm a Wonder children. Woman. There was a Wonder Woman. I'm book. working with oh, children. Was. Where was that? There was a very classic Wonder Woman thing. She walks into uh, the Bat Cave, and he's like, "I paid a million dollars with security system." She's clearly got heeled boots on. Oh, yeah. And the next scene, they're in the park. She's clearly got flat boots on. And to, that's make, just, to probably make him look taller. Or to that she have to walk in the grass in her oh, heels. Yeah, but that's yeah. such a classic Wonder Woman thing. Like, you watch the original 70s Wonder Woman. She's got heels on. And if, if there's an action sequence, she's got flats on. But you never see it unless you watch it 100 times. No, I was saying there was a Wonder Woman oh, look. Oh, great. That wasn't what you are talking about. Oh, when they were in the school bank whatever we don't know what it is and she first stops that bullet yeah she turns around and gives them like the shadiest look ever it's like a side look it's the best look ever that's it i love that whole sequence where she ran across the crowd and stopped each like the machine gun but she gave a look at each like back to the guy that was shooting Mm -hmm. i thought you mean Bruce bolton oh yeah (laughs) i was so excited so excited and steppenwolf was man's radar was really? He? Yeah. Oh, that's that's right. No, he's um he, uh, Julius Caesar. Yes. Oh. I love that actor, Sire and Hins. Yeah, he's gonna be at that that Ace Comic Con. He's too. he's fantastic. Um, I I just that's think it's cool amazing thing. that we're getting a movie with with uh, the new gods and apocalypse and all this stuff. Yeah, for like sure. in Mother Boxes, that's so cool. But um, I just to just to drive this home, I really liked. Uh, I think Batman, Ben Affleck is the greatest Batman. If you ask me, I, he's, I agree. he's great. He's I agree. So he's good. my favorite live action Batman because he has a lot of care given to the part. You, you can tell he's a fan. And I think, he, I, you know, you said he joked too much. He smiled too much for Batman. I think he was actually He, he looks great. He, he carries he the, the, he carries the suit. The suit the yeah. gr- great. He has the right, he's the only person with the right build for it. Like he's, he's built like the comics. He's built like, like all those like, like a giant, gorilla. like yeah, like gorilla a, right. man. And, you know, and I love the parts where the Batmobile flew out of the transport and the, the, all the gadgets and the bombs, and that was awesome. Right. But one of my favorite parts of the movie is when they first get to the Batcave and the Flash goes into everything. <laughs> and, like, and he sits like, there and he goes, oh, oh. I was like, perfect. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I would do. So, okay, uh, one out of ten, go. Six and a half. Oh, wow. Seven. I'll go seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half. It was it was five the first time I saw it. Second time, <laughs> it was seven and a half. I'll probably go higher when I watch it again. Uh, okay, Muff, in the order order of uh, all DC movies now. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh, God. I got to um, leave. <laughs> I got to go. No. No, I, I mentioned it to you before. I have a new appreciation for Man of Steel. Every new movie that comes out, I like Man of Steel more. So Man of Steel, Wonder Woman. No, I'm sorry. Wonder Woman, Man of Steel. Yeah, that's right. Batman vs. Superman. Justice League Suicide Squad. Okay, that's probably close to mine. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? Um, if if I weigh in it, no one's going to want to hear it because it's going to be all Wonder Woman and then Suicide Squad. Oh, the Wonder end. Woman and then Suicide <laughs> Squad. Yeah, yeah that's pretty you much. Knew you knew that Pretty shit. much me too, yeah. I think for me, it's now um, Wonder Woman, Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, Justice League Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's so we I just switched the two and the three, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're all good. I'm sure if I watch it, it's like, let's, let's stop and this. And it's like, let's they're all even. Coming. They're all right. five even the more, I, Honestly, the more I watch it, like when the Blu-ray comes out, like, and I know that there's some weird like petition now going around. They want to see Zack Snyder's cut, if there what? is a Zack Snyder cut you know, of it. And is there going to be an extended version of what we saw, even if it's not Zack Snyder's like thing? So I, I think my rating will probably go up as we own it on home video. Well, wh- uh, <laughs> one thing... Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching our uh, episode tonight. One more thing I want to say is to the makers of this movie, please give us an extended cut. Please give us an ultimate edition. We need it. I don't know if it's going to happen, though, because there's so many people involved in it. Whose extended cut would it be? Any extended cut. <laughs> Just give us... The, I agree, though. Yeah, give us... Give, us, give, give, us, the give us another Just, half hour. Yeah, give us give, more. Give us at least another half hour. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
Andy Escalise with me today. Yeah. Woo! My wife, Anne Marie. Woo! Jared Pressman. Woo! Meanwhile, the uh, voice of God, of the goddess <laughs> That's right. of Hera, uh, Randy Metaxas. Hera. Hera. I'm Richie Castellano. Uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments and uh, if you'd like to see more of this stuff or maybe less of this stuff. We'll, anyway. see, you. <laughs> we'll see you after Last Jedi. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.